5G is something that we have been hearing for quite some time and the reason why I'm saying like that is because we have a lot of 5G smartphones in the Indian market right now. But are we able to use that 5G feature completely? No, right? So in this video, I'm going to explain you the reason behind the delay of 5G network here in India. So watch this video till then because it's going to be really interesting. And by the way, if you want to buy any of the gears that I use on day to day basis, there is a link in the description below through which you can buy all the gears that I use directly from the manufacturer at a very low cost. So check that link in the description below and buy the things that I use on a day-to-day basis. Alright, so the first country to roll out 5G network was South Korea and it was back in 2019. And nearly 150 countries right now have already deployed 5G network. But why not India, the biggest economy of the world? There are several reasons to it. And in this video, I'm going to explain that one by one. The first reason being the equipment behind 5G. For any network to work seamlessly, there has to be a hardware which supports it. And that hardware that is used for 5G should be imported from other countries, from brands like Nokia and Ericsson. And not only that, those hardware is very expensive. And here in India, there are lakhs and lakhs of towers that needs to be replaced with the brand new 5G hardware that is being brought in. So this will take a lot of time, effort and a lot of money. And the reason behind telecos not vouching for spending a lot on the 5G hardware is because if they spend on it, then they have to end up charging a lot for the 5G data that they are going to roll out. And if they charge more, then people will not afford it. So brands and telecom operators are not willing to spend more and more on the 5G hardware just because they'll end up charging a lot for 5G. And yes, as I said, there are lakhs and lakhs of towers that needs to be replaced with 5G hardware, which will take a lot of time and as well as money. The second reason being the global chip shortage. Now, I know you guys are fed up of hearing this as a reason for many delays but this is true we can't avoid it because in India for the initial stages non-standalone 5G was planned and the meaning of non-standalone 5G is that they will insert an access point to the already existing 4G network so that a single tower can emit both 4G and 5G radio waves now what I mean to say is that Geo is a complete 4G network and there's no 3G on Geo. So that is a standalone 4G mechanism. But if you see brands like Airtel, Vodafone or Idea, they have non-standalone 4G implemented, which means that their existing towers can emit 2G, 3G and 4G waves simultaneously. So like that brands like Geo, Airtel or Vodafone are trying to implement non-standalone 5G which require hardware that needs to be imported from other countries and that hardware is expensive as I already told and the reason behind that hardware being so expensive is because of the global silicon shortage. You have to understand that when something comes to India it will be in a large scale and you shouldn't compare it with any other countries. So yeah. The third reason is the spectrum auction. Now the spectrum is one of the biggest assets for the government of India and while a spectrum auction happens a lot of companies vouch to bid more and more and the government of India wants to sell the spectrum of 5G for a very high cost but companies like Jio or Airtel are not willing to buy spectrum for a much higher cost because if they buy they have to end up charging more for the 5G data which will reduce the adaptability of 5G network for normal people. So yes, if they sell 5G network data for a much higher cost then people will not adapt to that technology because the existing 4G is very good enough already. Now it was only on June 15 the Spectrum auction had happened and it will take at least 4 to 6 months for the companies to bring in 5G completely to the India because after the Spectrum auction is complete they will start testing the network in major cities and that will take a long time at least 6 months. So we can expect the 5G network to roll out in India in the late 2022 or the early 2023. The last and final reason being the strict rules of DOT. Now, yes, in India, telecom rules are very strict. For companies like Jio or Airtel to bring a new type of network, it will take them a lot of time. Even after the Spectrum auction is complete, as I said before, companies will take at least four to six or even eight months to bring in that network completely to India. Because the government of India doesn't want these companies to bring in half-baked technologies that will create a huge mess. So yes, the strict rules is one among the reason of delays of 5G network here in India. So only after rigorous testing, the 5G network will be properly rolled out, thus eliminating a lot of problem. And as I said in the beginning, 
This delay can also bring in new use cases of 5G, making companies like Jio and Airtel more powerful and more rich because they'll find ways to earn a lot through 5G network. So yes, these are some of the reasons behind the delay of 5G network in India. And what do you guys think about these reasons? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you end up enjoying watching my content, a like this video would be absolutely great. And hey, most of you see my video, forget to subscribe. So don't do that. Just click the red color subscribe button below and also press the bell icon to get all the notifications whenever I post any new video. So that's it. This is me, Anav, signing off. Talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.